uh, the trailer as well. It's also called Enter the Girl Dragon. So it's a Bruce Lee um, tribute for sure. So you've been a huge fan of Bruce Lee. It's about uh, the unique philosophy of Bruce Lee in terms of how uh, he designed fights and how he uh, kind of uh, thinks, I mean, his attitude towards life extra. Yeah. So you've worked with Pooja in this film. Uh, you know, she has praised you in the media. Uh, you know, what was your... A uh, reason for choosing her. I know you say that you know you because she's a, she's a professional martial artist. Most of the people who just uh, learn martial arts just to keep hmm. fit sometimes, and uh, maybe being actors. She's a professional martial artist who took part in tournaments, both in national and international player platforms. Oh. And for this particular film, I needed an actor like that. So apart from Apuja, who who are what are the performances in the film should we be watching out? I mean, I think it's because she's a central character and the whole point is uh, to make an action film with a female as a center. I think that that is actually the only most unique part of the film. And there's a role reversal kind of a thing, like what you normally expect a hero and heroine to do here. The heroine does the hero's thing and the hero does the heroine thing. And there's also a kind of a strange love story because she's obsessed with Bruce Lee in the film. And there's a guy who's obsessed with her. So there is a triangle happening there in the in the context of late you also ran into some uh, legal trouble with your comment on draupadi murmu hmm. you issued some clarifications as well sir but the yeah. case has been registered apparently not the first case against you how do you deal with all these cases i mean see the, the, i think we're living in a very intolerant uh, kind of a society no matter what anybody says someone or the other will have a problem and they'll keep on looking for some kind of a a uh, way to uh, make it a legal issue see when when i said that particular line i meant as in when if for every nomination there will be someone who will support there will be someone who will uh, oppose so i said in cinema bharata draupadi ji is a central character the villains are kauravas and the heroes are pandavas so i i meant in that sense that who will support her and who will not as a pun i never meant any disrespect uh, to the, to her you know yeah I know, but in this society, currently tensions are flaring high. You know, people can get offended over anything. Uh, anything, and everything. Yeah. yeah. The last controversy has broken out is Lena Money Maker. She's shown a poster uh, with Kali smoking. You are yeah. somebody also who has done controversial things. So, what do you feel when people, uh, you know, do something of this sort? You show a goddess smoking, and what do you think about the outrage? Who do you support? I mean, no, I say, I don't know. So I'm saying, I think if, uh, I mean, the whole question of freedom of expression is in question because, uh, I mean, in, a, in, a, in our country, even by law, even blasphemy is also not a crime in, in, the, in the context, you know. So, but I think just the, uh, the pressure of the social media is so much, you have the time, don't know if they're serious about it or they just don't have work, so they just kind of flare up in the, in the whole thing. So I feel, yes, a lot of us can disagree, but I think like this old line uh, which comes, uh, it says you have, even if you disagree, you have to respect someone else's opinion on that. You might not mm. take it, you know, mm. but I think if you're, if you have to be scared of doing anything and everything, I think mm. then where will be the limit for uh, whatever happens, you know, mm. so I don't want to. I mean, comment on it, particular about that, but I think this general intolerance attitude in society has to go down. Sir, what about the films uh, that have released off late? What have you watched and what have you enjoyed? I mean, I think uh, I, I love two films, uh, Kashmir Files and KGF2, for completely different reasons, though they're almost in the opposite uh, of spectrums, you know. Kashmir Files, I enjoyed it because I thought there was a lot of form breaking in that. It, it, it didn't follow a pattern of what generally film industry believes how a story should be told. In a strange way, I think even KGF2 did that. You know, yeah, so I think yeah. uh, these two, I would say, uh, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Do you like Yash? Do you think he's a good actor? I mean, there are two kinds of people. If an actor and, and star are different. A star is one which creates a hype, which gives a feeling. So I don't uh, know if I can call Yash that. But the point is whether he wants to be, other people yeah. want him to be actor also is, is, uh, is the point to consider. So I think an actor playing a character who's believable and who can, you can relate to is very different from someone you look up to. Mm. For example, Rajini Kanth is a superstar. I don't know if he's an actor. That doesn't mean he can't act. I'm not saying that. So I don't want to see Rajini Kanth do a versatile variety of roles. 
because I don't mind seeing him walking in slow motion for two hours. I mean, there's no, no story also. So I think films work for different reasons and not because of actors and scripts and things like that. Yeah. What about Vikram? You spoke about Rajni Khan. So you, I have to mention Kamal Hassan in that uh, same breath. What about Vikram? Did you happen to watch it? Yeah, I mean, uh, I did watch and I think it's a uh, very, very well made uh, film aspect. And uh, obviously, uh, I mean, I think so. Kamal's best film to date. Mm -hmm. And uh, hats off to him for uh, making that happen. Yeah. <laughs>